What's good, everyone? Giant opinions or Yankee opinions because we got some breaking, breaking MLB news. The Yankees have went ahead and traded for Andrew Benintendi, outfielder from the Royals. And, and in exchange, they are trading away TJ Sikama, who is the 19th ranked prospect in the Yankees farm system. They're trading away Beck Way, right handed pitcher, who is the 21st ranked prospect in the Yankees farm system, and Chandler Champlain, uh, a righty pitcher. So let's talk about it from the Yankees' perspective. What are they getting with Andrew Benintendi? They're getting a guy who was hitting above 300, 321 to be exact. This season, he is one of the best contact hitters in all of baseball. He's really, his power numbers have really gone down, which I don't really mind. He's only hit three home runs, but this season with the Royals, they're trying to, or they were trying to get him to be a contact first guy, and clearly it's working. He still has a good on-base percentage. He doesn't really strike out that much. He takes walks. His on-base is around 80 points higher, which is something very good. And his OPS is around 780. So for the Yankees, they're upgrading uh, offensively. They finally get a guy who can hit for a really high average because that's kind of what they're lacking in that offense. They get a guy who has the ability to steal bags and a gold glove defender out in the outfield. He's very good defensively. So I think this is a very good move for the Yankees. I think we all expected them to be in the Benintendi sweepstakes. Does it make the Yankees a lot better trading for Benintendi? Hell yeah, it does. I know some people might say this is he's an overrated player, but he's batting 320. He's a left-handed batter. He's really good defensively. He can steal bags. He has playoff experience with the Red Sox, by the way. So that definitely increases his value. And the assumption is he is going to get vaccinated. So I know that was a big con for a lot of people, but apparently he's going to get vaccinated. So Ben Benintendi for the Yankees, I love the move. And they're not giving up too much to go get him. They, give, they are giving up all pitchers, which is something interesting to note, but... They didn't have to break in the bank for any top prospects, which I didn't think they would have to, but this is good on them. So for the Yankees, I'd give this I'd give this an A move, really. I think this this definitely uh takes away Aaron Hicks's role from the team, which although Hicks has been a lot better recently, I he can still get upgraded from. And Benintendi is batting probably around 80 points higher batting average than Aaron Hicks. So it's a great move for the New York Yankees with that short porch and right field. You might see that home run number go up, but he's really in there for the high contact batting average and to be there in clutch situations because he has the postseason experience. But for the Kansas City Royals, let's talk about some of the players that got in return. TJ Sikama is a left-handed pitcher. He is probably going to be ready in 2023. I'm pulling up his scouting report right now. He, he has a fastball slider and a changeup right now. Uh, he's a starting pitcher, and he's in he's in uh, A ball right now, so we don't really know what we're getting with him, to be honest. He is the highest ranked of all of the prospects, so he is the best piece the Royals got in return. Looks okay, he's a lefty pitcher. At least he's got three solid quality pitches, so it's something. And that's the thing, all these guys are very young, so we don't really have a, a grasp on how they'll be. So the Royals are taking flyers on guys that are very young, and maybe they see something in them. Maybe they want to kind of mold them to be a higher prospect. So Beck Way is also the 21st ranked prospect in the Yankees farm system. Right-handed pitcher, six foot four. He is a fastball slider changeup. So three pitches again. And his fastball is the, is the highest graded pitch. He's also projected to come up at the big leagues in 2023, just like TJ Sikama. And uh, I don't know. Let's take a look at his stats right here. Okay. In A plus ball, he is a 3.73 ERA. That's kind of like what TJ Sycamore was too. I didn't mention his stats, but he had around the same ERA. I think it maybe it was maybe it was two, but I know one is one of his seasons was in the threes. So you don't really know what you're getting. A righty pitcher though, uh, he does start games. He is a starting pitcher. Keyword starting pitcher. So Beckway looks okay. Looks okay. He was drafted in the fourth round in the 2020 MLB draft. So he was drafted somewhat high. Uh, obviously not a first round pick, but he the Yankees spent a somewhat premium MLB draft pick on him. And then there's Chandler Champlain, the last guy in the trade package for Andrew Benintendi, the Royals are getting. Drafted him in the ninth round of 2021 of their MLB draft class. So I can't really find much on him, but he's very young. Uh, he's actually, he's 23 years old. He's a little bit older than these other guys, but he's a right-handed pitcher too. I'm assuming he's a starter. But for the Royals, I'd give this uh, maybe a B minus trade grade honestly i think that although they got three pitchers that are all young and have not seen big league action yet which is promising they were still very young and we don't know one of these guys could be very good but they didn't really get a top prospect no they were not going to for benintendi a guy who is basically a rental for this season we knew it wasn't going to happen but 
They didn't really get anyone good to help them immediately or in the next few years. Uh, I Well, actually, it says they're going to get called up in 2023, but none of them are even in double A, so I don't know. I'm giving it a B minus. There's obviously potential with all of these players, but right now we don't really know. For the Yankees, though, I'm going to give it an A. I love, I honestly love it. Benintendi was a perfect fit out for the New York Yankees. Cashman went ahead and made the move. It's awesome. Hicks replaced. Gallo, definitely going to get traded off now. Maybe maybe Benintendi will take over center field and Judge will move back to the corners. We don't know. But honestly, I like this trade a lot. And yeah, good move by the Yankees, by the Royals. At least you got something for Benintendi. Three players, so you have three chances of one of them panning out. I guess you could look at it from that perspective. So let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.